Hi, Cancer. This is Genevieve with Belladonna Moon Moves. How are y'all doing? I'm actually doing interesting. As I was sitting here, getting ready to start this video, my ring light, which is it's this ring thing that puts light in my face, changed all by itself. I'm just sitting here and I see the light change. It's amazing. So I feel like I'm not alone because I didn't touch it. And it's like three feet from me. And I've lost a little, um, the, <sighs> the thing that controls it from a distance. Uh, the, um, I don't know. You know what I'm talking about. Um, it controls, it turns the lights up and down. I haven't seen it in months. I can't find it. I could have thrown it away, I guess. I don't know. But anyway, I don't have it. And my ring light just radically changed all by its lonesome. Kind of a little spooky. But that's okay. Because you know I like spooky. So, I've actually had a really fun week. I went camping. Yes, I. The woman who loves makeup. Went camping. And I haven't washed my hair in like two days. So that's why it looks so bad. But I did come home and put on makeup just for y'all because I did not want to be on camera forever online without my eye makeup on. I mean, that's just so wrong. So, but other than that, I've had a really good week. I learned a few things. One of the things I learned that there was this hurricane called Sally that hit the Perdido Island in the Florida Keys. And it divided it into three pieces. Now, two of the pieces were uninhabited, undeveloped areas, and one piece was a major island. So at least it didn't divide up like houses or whatever. But that makes you really think, doesn't it? Could that be what happened to Atlantis? Could that be how the landmass divided and the oceans all came going in? I don't know. I wasn't alive back then. But it gives you room to think, doesn't it? I found it interesting. So I pulled from the Spell Casting Oracle deck. Now, I love this deck. It, it's a really cool deck. The only problem is they don't pay me for telling them how, telling y'all how wonderful they are, but I'm still going to tell you it's a wonderful deck. Okay. The card we get is Manifestation. Manifestation is all about visualizing, but it can be about other things. Manifestation could also be just paying attention to your verbiage. For example, when I say, I don't like, I'm thinking about something I don't like. I don't like it when people are rude. I'm just hearing the word, people are rude. So my mind starts actually manifesting people being rude. Oh, isn't that a horrible thought? But if I th think, I like it when people are polite, or I like it when people are nice to me, that completely changes it, doesn't it? And that's kind of what we need to be working on. We need to get our verbiage in line with correct thinking. It's really hard, though, because honestly, I think as a society, we're kind of negative. Oh, I don't like hearing that, do you? The next card I pulled from is the Magical Unicorns Oracle deck. This card says, listen to your true feelings. Oh, wow. And further down, it says, don't let others talk you into doing something that you don't want to do. That's really powerful because, for example, last fall, or actually last year, someone convinced me to do their taxes. But I procrastinated because they wanted me to do years of taxes. Well, we ended up having an argument because it took me a few months to do them. But... They were getting money back, so it wasn't going to cost them anything. It just was time. And I was doing it for free, so they should have been thankful. And then they got mean, and I got mad, and blah, 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 blah. If I had just listened to my gut and said no, we would have saved all that angst. So listen to your true feelings. Don't get caught up in something you don't want to do. Unless, of course, it has to do with helping me. 
And then, of course, say yes. The same. Okay. On tarot, the first card we get is the Queen of Swords. Now, this card can be about a lot of different things. Um, and because it's reversed, we're going to flip it over. Um, this could be about being emotional, easily influenced, and kind of gripey. Actually, he won't say it. But it can also be about setting boundaries. And honestly, with y'all, I think it means that you need to set better boundaries. Because especially in light of the fact that we got this don't say yes card, or listen to your true feelings, let's revise that. See, I'm talking about verbiage. So you need to set those clear boundaries. The next card I get for y'all is the Wheel of Fortune. This tells me that you're going to be successful about something. That the wheel is spinning. I like that noise, don't you? But it's spinning and it's going to come in a good place for you. You're going to have some success, some good luck, some fortune. And I think that's coming from starting a new project. This card is about starting a new project that's going to be successful. So you're going to have good luck on this project. But you need to tone down not setting boundaries. You need to set those clear and succinct boundaries. That's a hard word, succinct. So, I hope, I think y'all will have a basically good week. Set some boundaries, manifest, and figure out what it is you want. Not what I want. Well, maybe. If I want it, yes, definitely listen to me. That's a joke, in case you don't know that. Um, if you want to do a private reading, send me a text or ring me up on the phone, 405-512-9400, or send me a personal message or a private message to Belladonna Moonbeams on Facebook. And if not, see you in a few. Bye-bye.